Um, we wanted to wake up at 8 and kind of pack breakfast and get out. But we are woke in the middle of the night to like very loud tin roof rain. So. It's a horrible stuff. It didn't bother me at all. It was a horrible stuff. But it bothered Dana. Um, and then. Wait a minute. I wasn't scared. It was loud. So let's just get that straight. Yeah. I didn't say you were scared. <laughs> I said you were bothered. Um, but. I didn't sleep really that bad, but both the boys did. So like Dana like still like woke up a lot between the rain and having to pee. And there's a spiral staircase, a very tight, narrow spiral staircase to get down to the first floor, which is where the bathroom is. So I would have been upset if I had to pee. I'm glad that I didn't, is all I'm saying. It is kind of treacherous in the middle of the night. Did you do that in the middle of the night? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you went down? Yeah, and oh I goodness. walked out back because I didn't what? fall. Oh my god. Like I was climbing down a ladder. That's weird. It was kind <laughs> in the of, middle of the night. Well, yeah, that's kind of probably a strange sight to see, but nobody was down All you see is like up. a booty. My booty coming down a spiral staircase. It's <laughs> yeah. kind of weird. And then the other thing is we got a text message from our son who's downstairs sleeping um, at 11.30 saying that he's afraid of wasps and it's gonna go sleep in the car. So, when I went down at 1, uh, one thirty, he was on the couch, so I've been out because well, I imagine sleeping in the car in the rain and the storm was probably terrible. That's pretty much what's happening. Nana wants to go jump in the hot tub. We I am sore from yesterday. Me too. And I think I can use it. Also, it actually got cool up here last night because we have a little Thank goodness. portable air conditioner. It got kind of cool up here, so the hot tub sounded warm and uh, inviting right now. And uh, we got it, so why not? We don't have a lot It's kind of nice. I do see the sun peeking through the trees right now. Hopefully, the rain will go away. And if it doesn't, uh, raincoats and understanding we're going to be muddy. Yeah. And I'm cool with that. So we'll just adjust. So I made coffee in the percolator this morning. We have a coffee pot, but I like the percolator working. Yeah, we wanted to do our BioLite um, in addition to the percolator, but the twigs and the kindling that we had uh, scavenged that Dana kind of had put together and left outside, it rained. So it's all wet and everything outside is wet, of course, so we can't go get more, so we couldn't use that. But hopefully we can use that tomorrow um, or later on tonight and should kind of show you BioLite. It's one of our favorite pieces of the camping and backpacking gear that we own. <laughs> well, we're not going to wake up Patrick yet because we know we didn't, he didn't sleep well. So we're going to let him sleep in a little bit. We'll just get off to a late start on the trails today because if I wake him up and push after knowing that he was freaked out and was scared and didn't sleep well, he's not going to be able to hike at, his high, at a very high capacity today and it won't really be good. So I'm just going to let him sleep and we'll kind of get off to a late start and it'll be fine. So the nice part about having a hot tub is when we do a trip like like this where you're hike, hiking, um, getting to come back and relax in a, in a hot tub and kind of massage your muscles away and takes away some of the aches and pains really kind of ends the day um, in a very relaxing thing. And it makes you feel like hiking energizes me, especially. Um, or, or activity, obviously, physical activity energizes me. So coming back at the end of the day and having a hot to jump into and relax kind of puts the night to an end and helps me relax and go to sleep. Um, not alone, let alone relaxes the muscles and stuff like that. So um, we've done this twice now where we've gotten a hot tub. Yeah, so just to clarify, like we don't usually do trips like this. Like if we're gonna go and do something where we're hiking and we're in the mountains, we like to be as rugged as possible. The preferred way to camp for us is literally camping. Like being in a tent, being in a backpacking tent. We have like a two person tent, we have a four person tent, and we have a big family size tent, depending on what camping trip we are doing. Um, so it is a luxury to have a hot tub when you hike all day, especially when you're doing hiking in elevation changes. Like the hike yesterday was I think 1,133 feet elevation increase over the span of the hike um, from start to finish. So you feel it, especially after the first day. Um, we're not in crazy good shape. Um, so 
you feel it. And it's nice to be in a hot tub and rejuvenate before you do it again the next day. Okay. I don't have anything to add because I was just going to say <laughs> one of the problems is our, our passion requires us to be in, in pretty good physical shape. And we do it all the time, but we're not in the shape to do it necessarily. Well, we need to do like the get, getting rid of the beer belly workout. Yeah, we no, we're not in bad no. shape. We're just not in like we're not, in we're not athletic. We don't have athletic but physique. But I love the hype, and uh, you feel it if you're not in great shape. After I'm sure you probably feel it. We keep doing it. We'll be in wonderful shape. So <laughs> <laughs> we got to do it more often. Yeah, look at how it's like getting warm already. So it starts fogging up. Like it's actually the lens is not foggy. The backyard is foggy. All right, I'm gonna get into this hot tub. And then look at the one on the back of the charcoal bag. The boy has awoken. I was already awake. You're not the boy, you're the man. So, me and Patrick are cool, unlike Dana. And we decided to mix granola. So I have this guy here, cocoa and cashew butter. Um, and it has seeds in it and chocolate. And it's awesome. And then we also mix it with the peanut butter endurance one, um, which is pretty great. And it's clusters, and the clusters are actually like stuck together with peanut butter. Then we have bananas and strawberries. I'm awful. I don't know what he said. And we also have coffee. And yeah, so we're having breakfast. And then we'll go on an adventure. I got very frustrated. Very, very frustrated. Mainly, it was our fault. We weren't paying attention. We didn't see a right turn where it should have been. And it's because there was an abandoned like school that we had broken into last time we were here four years ago. And we were staring at that um, and trying to see like how far the decay has gone and we didn't notice the road that we were supposed to turn on. So when I typed in the actual coordinates to our GPS, Guess what? <laughs> We're here. How cool the roots are. Wait, what spray did we get? We did mosquito and tick. Okay. Patrick, what do you think so far? Awesome. It's a beautiful trail. We hiked it, <laughs> and there was ice everywhere. There was ice. It doesn't the last look the same. Ooh, look at this mushroom! Holy smokes! Never seen a mushroom that big. Jeez. What are you thinking about it? Oh, I like it. You're into the cave. Yeah. You living that cave life though? That cave life though. 
Cave Life didn't choose me. This one we've seen. It is pretty cool. Oh! There's a little entry point. We are at Angel Windows, so there's two windows. This actually kind of looks like a horse head. I don't know if anyone else sees that, but I do. And they are caused by weathering to the stone. What do you think, Pat? Pretty awesome. Hey, babe. Hey there. Get over there, it's just a tight squeeze. That's nuts. Wonder what's up. Oh. Oh, you just fell off. Probably rolled down there. Perhaps. This is awesome. I like doing this kind of stuff. Yeah.